Hello everybody. So, today I am going to do a clean with me. It is currently ten past nine. I'll show you the clock, although you can't really see. And um, I've just finished work. Um, it is a Friday night, Friday the... 18th of May and I've just posted my salon vlog it's my second salon vlog it's up on my channel now so go check it out if you haven't already I am one of you guys commented saying can you do a clean with me like clean up tidy up sanitize that kind of thing so I thought I'd do that for you today it's the end of the week I finish work on a Friday night so I thought I would show you what I do to clean up so currently quite messy at the moment I'll just show you now so this is currently my nail station where my client sits I've got her glass of water I've just got mess like everywhere from the design I was doing my phone files brushes a couple of colors there my lamp or wheel it's just a massive mess got drawers open everything's a big mess this is real like what it is just there's stuff over there so my box of stuff i've some of the stuff i've used today i just leave there because i don't have time to put stuff away so i'm gonna clean with you you can clean with me so you can get your nail station nice and clean ready for the next day the next week whatever or you can just have a cuppa and watch me clean i mean i don't know if this is fun let me know down below if you think this is a good video to do i can do another one with you and organize with me that kind of thing but yeah i'm gonna pop you up on my tripod and clean away i'm gonna do it kind of vlog styley so i might come back and chat to you as well but yeah so as I was saying, I have this box full of stuff that I've used throughout the day. So I've got a couple of stamping polishes that I've used. These are from Clear Jelly Stamper. They're really, really good polishes. I've um, got a Magpie Glitter that I used earlier on a set of nails. It's called Eve. She's a beauty. Some foil, just some foil nails earlier. Stamper and a ton of my gorgeous Dixie plates from Kate Dix. If you're looking for a new plate brand to look at, definitely head on over to Dixie Plates. You can get them in the UK from um, Stamping Queen UK, which is also Sarah R here on YouTube. Check out her tutorials as well, they're awesome. But yeah, this is their Summer I One plate, and look how funky it is. I absolutely love this plate. But yeah, it's called Dixie Plates like this. You can find and they've got some awesome plates like some really gorgeous designs I'm doing a set of nails today with this image at the top right corner here um dpo2 if i remember i'll post a picture of the nails i did today for them yeah so i've got a ton of plates they all need to go away into my stamping plate drawer i could do an in-depth video on this drawer my dixie plates live in here also so my dixie plates from there so i'm going to put those away and you can watch This is where I put my Dixie plates in. I'm just, it's just a photo album um, that I got from TK Maxx, but I really like it. And then I just put one of the Dixie plates scrapers, their new scrapers, in here as well. I'm just going to put all of the Dixie plates that I used this week away in the holder. Also, this is another awesome plate. This is the Dixie plate Spring 01, it's a layered stamping plate awesome so i just make sure it's clean and then just pop it away just using some acetone to clean off the plates making sure they're nice and clean before i put them away i 
I also love clear jelly stamper plates and I love the plate holder that you can get. I keep these all in here. They have some gorgeous plates as well. So I'm just gonna put the plates away that I used from them this week. Make sure the plate's nice and clean. And pop it away. That's them all away. I love clear jelly stamper plates as well. They're so cool. And I love the plate holder. <sighs> Anything holographic, I love. In this drawer down here is where I keep all my stampers, my um, spare massive duster brush. This is where I keep all of my stampers. I'll give you a close up in a minute. I keep them all in here. I keep all my scrapers in a little jar on the side here. And then I keep all my tools and stuff. So this is what I use when I'm doing glitter and stuff. I will sit my magpie glitters like this inside here when I'm working on the client so I don't knock them over because that quite often happens oh, can I see? so that goes in there when I'm not using it as well as my palette and then in here I keep back up stamping polishes in here and then I have this little insert here which I keep all my disposables like my Wood pick things, cotton buds that I use for cleaning up stamping, sponges for doing chrome and eyeshadow applicators for doing chrome. Also, this is where I keep all of those bits. And then back here is just more polish, um, bags full of glitters and stuff like that. And then, of course, I couldn't be without my lint roller for stamping. Look how pretty it can get. It's got like, from when I did leaves and tropical, love it. So that's what's in there. So I'm just going to show you a couple more bits. This here, I've got five hooks on my wall where I keep all my swatch sticks hung up like that. So normally by the end of the day, I've got swatch sticks everywhere. These are some gorgeous colors from the gel water link. I mean, look at that bright green colour and these two hot pink colours. Obsessed. So I'm just going to organise these up here and sort out them. So I've just organised all of my swatch sticks on here. I keep them brand organised, that way I find it easier to sort through them. So the top one is kind of random, each wheel is a brand. So I've got a wheel of Madame Glam and like different wheels of different brands. Down here I've got, this is a wheel of the Manicure Company. I've got OPI and Gelish here. And then here I've got my two wheels of magpie gel colours. And then here I've got my wheels of the gel bottle ink colours. And then down here are like some random ones with like effects and that kind of thing. Cat eye, mood changing, some beautiful sparkly glitters. So over here I have my OPI Avo Juice. I love this stuff and I love this scent as well. Sweet lemon sage. 
good. Um, hand sanitizer, always important. My acetone has melted the bottle, which is great. My nail and file spray, I'm using this one at the moment. It's okay, it does the job, but I've got the um, Magpie one to go on to next, and that's peppermint, I think. So I'm super excited to try that. Just got some random couple of nail arty bits where I was trying like geode nails. But they look quite pretty actually, if it will focus. There you go, from where I tried like geode nails, love it. And look, all this dust, if you're an tech, you feel my pain, literally. Dust and glitter everywhere. I'm just gonna clean off my brushes, put them away. Got some tools here that need to go in my sanitizer. And then, yeah, so carry on washing. I'm just gonna sort that stuff out. This is where I keep all my foils. Again, it's just another photo album thing I found from TK Maxx. I love iridescent, holographic, anything iridescent and shiny I'm drawn to so this is where I keep all of my foils if you are subscribed to this channel you know I love foils because I've done a tutorial on that and if you follow me on Instagram you've seen loads of my artwork and I love foils but yeah you can get some really fun foils floral foils different colored foils yeah really awesome so just gonna find where this guy goes and put this back. So I'm now just going to wipe down my desk. I first of all use a cloth to get rid of all the dust and everything like that onto the floor, ready to wipe down. And then I'm going to use these Dettol antibacterial cleansing surface wipes to get rid of any bacteria or any disgusting gel goop that's on the desk. These are really nice, they smell really good. They leave a nice fresh scent in the room, which I love. So yeah, I wipe absolutely everything down with that. My chair's down, the lamp, my light, everything down with that once it's all dust free. So I'm gonna wipe everything down first and then go over with this. Okay guys, so just quickly, I've just pretty much finished cleaning everything up. Everything's nice and clean. 
as you can see here, everything's back to normal. I've wiped everything down with an antibacterial cloth. These bad boys right here kept everything clean. Got a new towel out and then I'm just gonna get, which I'm running low on. I use these napkins from Ikea. They're amazing for day-to-day -day use. I use a brand new one for each client, obviously. It's like couch roll, but I find that they are the perfect size for placing over being ready for my next client. I do this type of a clean after every day of working. I clean everything down, making sure it's nice and clean. That's my diary. I am a paper diary kind of girl. I need to write things down. Um, I don't know what to do about these cables though. They really annoy me. All I've got to do now is empty my bin and turn all the lights off. Oh, I will also hoover as well and mop because it is, as it's the end of the week, I will mop everywhere in the salon as well and kind of give the whole salon a dust, like the picture frames and everything like that. But just for my nail area, this is kind of what I do on a daily basis. And then as a weekly clean, I um, mop as well as hoover and then go around the whole room dusting off the picture frames and all the sides of there. So I'm gonna go now and do clean and sanitize all of my nail instruments bits. I will see you guys in my next video. Leave any video suggestions down below that you'd like to see. Um, I'm hoping to do some more vlogs. You guys seem to enjoy it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed cleaning with me. I don't know if it was very interesting. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.